am back with another cosplay review. I'm very, very excited. So this one is of Ruby Rose from Ruby. It is her Volume 7 Atlas outfit. I've, I've heard so many names. I think Atlas kind of fits the best. So it is her Atlas outfit. Um, it is from Mick Costumes, which I have ordered from Mick Costumes before. They're probably my favorite place to order cosplay from, if I'm being honest. Um, I just really think their quality is very consistent. So I appreciate that. And here is what it came in, just like kind of a basic nondescript sort of package. Um, it doesn't even say like make costumes on this part of it at all. It actually doesn't say anything. And it says it's from California. Let's see. So shipping for this took, um, I want to say a little over a month. Well, shipping and ordering, you know, everything, the processing. Um, so a little over a month. It's ordered directly off their site. They do have an Amazon site. Um, I do not believe that this particular cosplay yeah. was available on their Amazon Prime. Um, so this was just directly off of the site and it was a little over a month. So not bad at all. So the cosplay came in this bag. This does actually say Mick Costumes on it. Um, also you can see here this is in the size XL. I have gotten this size before. I got it with my oh, Choco bodysuit and it was too big and then I've gotten it with um, my Kakagura uniform and it was too small. So it's a big bag. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what the first content of this bag is. Alright, so the first part of this is her corset that she wears. You can see so these are these are kind of interesting. So this part is metal. Ooh, this part is metal. But this part is just fabric. I don't know why they're not just all metal, but um, so it's half metal, half fabric. It has a fake corset backing, it looks like. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, they're fake corset backing. At first I was like, maybe that's boning. It is not. Um, so it's got a fake corset backing, which is still nice because you can still do some stuff even with a fake corset backing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is the kind of front of it. It's got a different, just more showy, prettier. Uh, lace and then the back um, has more of just like your standard kind of ribbon. Um, they're very long so there's lots of room for taking it in or letting it out or you know whatever you happen to need with this cosplay. Alrighty so these are her little bags. Um, they do appear to be, fun oh there's stuff in the bags. They do appear to be functional. Um, this might be her choker. Um, I don't know, I'd have to see the rest of the content, but this might be her choker. And there's one of her little bags. And then, Sly! Look how cute she is! And they're stuck in this as well. Ooh, okay. So inside Sly was, oh, her leggings. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I mean, that's gotta be what these are. Yeah. They stretch a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next up. Oh no. I think these are her stockings. No, I'm just confused. I have to look at Ruby again. Now I'm just confused. Um, these are her stockings, I think. Or maybe these are her arms? Legs? Arms? Arms or legs? You know, it might help me if I looked at pictures before I just started talking. I even have a picture up on my computer, but it's way on the other side of the room. You'll find out when I put them on. Alright, next up. All right, these are gloves. I've got that much. Um, so you can kind of see the they're fingerless, um, which your gloves are, but they are, um, the seams are not finished here at the end. So they're not like great, but they're pretty standard cosplay gloves. Um, here, I'll try one on real quick. So, if it's okay, you can see all those loose strands though. Um, also, I have pen markings from work. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, the only one that doesn't quite fit is the thumbs a little bit big. I have very skinny fingers though, so that can kind of cause an issue. Uh, also, right around here is a little baggy, but she kind of has something that grips it, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Oh, it's her short. Eh. 
So these are her cute little shorts that she wears under her outfit because she wears like a half skirt kind of. Um, so yeah, little shorts. Next up is, oh goodness, okay. So, there's wrapping on part of this. I probably should have taken this off already. There we go. Alrighty. So this is her whole like top without the corset, which by the way looks super funky, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> so it looks like what they did was they basically took the top and then combined it with her skirt and then the belt is going to be around here to kind of make it look like two separate pieces. Uh, same with her undershirt is attached to, of course, this, uh, this part here. So everything is attached, which is kind of nice because there's less pieces for you to keep up with. <laughs> we'll see how like it ultimately looks. You can see this is where her slit is. Um, it's got a nice little belt there. It has this little hanger hanging off of it. Um, and it does say the size on it, extra large. So. That's really good. Yay. And it looks good too. So awesome. Belts. Belts. So many belts. Okay, so she has belts that go around her thighs, her wrists, and her waist, if I remember correctly. So here is one of them. Um probably a wrist one. It looks a little small to be a thigh one. So I'm thinking this is probably a wrist one. Um, this one has her emblem on it, so I know this is the waist one because she always wears her emblem, which you can see right here. Uh, this is actually like an iron-on decal, which is kind of cool. Um, I've gotten, I've cosplayed Ruby in her, uh, volume one outfit, and that one is kind of just like a piece of paper almost. Uh, also you can see they have an area for you to put your bullets in. Um, I actually don't tend to add Ruby's bullets because, uh, in particular, Momocon that I go to, um, the uh, CNN Center is where I like to get food, and they do not let you in if you have bullets. So just don't bother. Because I don't want to get kicked out. And, you know, I don't know about policies. Say you live in America without saying you live in America, I guess. People are afraid you're just going to shoot it up. Uh, I think this is another wrist one. And then that would make these two the thigh ones, which makes sense. These are quite a bit bigger, you know, and I got some thick thighs to save lives. And then rounding it out, you cannot cosplay Ruby Rose without Ruby Rose's cape. It's iconic, people. Iconic. So here it is. Uh, she finally fixed her cape after time skip where she just decided to let it go into tatters. So that's pretty cool. Also, her cape is a little bit different than how she wore it in her OG. In her original outfit, it's uh, kind of pinned here, and then it's like a cape. Here she wears it as kind of like a scarf cape, because, you know, she gave twice the red scarf. She didn't, but I could pretend. Um, so yes, now I'm so excited to try it all on. So whoosh! All right, so here is Ruby's cosplay all on. Yay. <laughs> all righty. So, of course, I figured out where all the belts went and everything went. So uh, that black part that I was confused about, they are like sock kind of things. They're technically her belt in the show, but um, they made them just kind of socks, which is neat. So, yes, I figured out where everything went. Here it all is. Uh, so in terms of sizing, I definitely could have gotten a size smaller. Um, things are... I'm at like the last loop of about everything and it's still sliding off. So I could have definitely just gone for a large rather than an extra large. Uh, but as I said, I have gotten this size before and it's been a mixture of big and small. So, you know, I'd rather something be too big than too small. So yeah. One of the first things is this corset top is separate as you saw, um, but it keeps sliding down kind of like that. So, um, in order to still keep the integrity of the actual corset part, I'm not going to completely sew this on, but I do think I'm going to sew the top on so that it will stop sliding down and revealing all this red and everything. So I am going to sew that down. Um, but other than that, that top is nice. Uh, like I said, I could definitely have gone for a smaller size because the corset is about as tight as it can get and it is certainly not tight on me. 
Um, so I could have gone a size down there. Uh, also, this keeps moving. You can probably tell it keeps wanting to slide back. So this is another thing that I think I might just sew on to the actual cosplay so that it will stop doing that and I don't have to constantly mess with it. Um, and then this again goes down to sizing. These ugh, little belt things, they're on their last loop and they're still sliding down because they're just a little bit too big. Um, so I haven't fully decided how I want to treat that yet. Um, I might sew them into the brown leggings that they gave me. Um, but I have not fully, fully decided on that yet. Um, this cosplay is very warm. Very, very warm cosplay. There's so many parts to it. Uh, and then the shorts fit fine. Um, nothing major there. I like the look of it a lot when it's, you know, kind of staying together. Um, so I do quite like it. The materials are really nice in it. Um, nothing like broke while I was putting it on. Um, and as for sizing, again, I, I've kind of had like a mixed bag of things with their sizing, so I can't even complain too much about that. Um, another instance is I have Suyu, I got as a gift that's an extra large, and um, it's a little bit big, but then I've also gotten uh, as a gift uh, Sophie from House Moving Castle, and that didn't fit in the chest very well, and that was an extra large, so I just don't know. <laughs> it's inconsistent. Um, but overall, I quite like this. Um, yeah, I just basically need, need to sew some things down. Um, but I think once I'm able to like sew this down, sew this down, um, figure out the leg things, I think it'll be a really nice cosplay to wear and like super comfortable. And as I said, I do like wearing it. Um, and I like the look of it and everything. Uh, if I could, I would go size down, but obviously that's already happened but yeah overall I really do like it so overall I I'm because the sizing is inconsistent I do kind of have to hold that against them normally I don't hold sizing too much against because um, well when I'm not getting custom if I get custom obviously I do but if I'm getting like their pre-made size obviously I made the judgment that that fit best in my personal body and so that's kind of on me but in this case I don't really know what exactly is up with the measurements so because of that um, I have to probably give them points off for that um, this cosplay is kind of difficult in places but I'm not sure if that just has more to do with the fact that it is a little bit big and like if it wasn't so big maybe these like this and the leg things wouldn't be as much of a problem but because it is I'm obviously having that problem uh, so taking all that into account, and then the price was not bad, um, I would say I'd probably give this a 7.5 to 8 out of 10, which I think is still pretty good. Um, I would still definitely recommend this Ruby cosplay if you are looking to cosplay Volume 7, especially if you're looking to cosplay Volume 7 on a bit of a budget, since I do know there are a couple ones out there, but they are more expensive than this one. I think this one is a great uh, product for the amount that you pay for it. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, I know I have two orders of Doki Doki costs coming in that I am super duper duper excited to get. I know for sure I'll review one, but hopefully I'll get the time to review both of them. This will be my first time ordering, so I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I'll let you know if I do anything else. Bye!